BC. This is Luke with Hot Wax and Cool Vinyl. Hey, welcome back. Uh, unless this is the first time you're viewing my channel, uh, then just welcome. Okay, so happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, Monday, 4th of July, 2022. Hope everyone is having a great day, enjoying this wonderful 4th of July. Hopefully the weather is as good where you are as it is here with us on Long Island. Today is awesome. All right, so it has been forever and a day since I made a video. Yeah, sorry guys, been busy. Uh, but uh, I have nonetheless been buying uh, albums and collections and so forth and so on. And so with that, I'm going to start sharing some of more, more recent purchases with you, the vinyl community. Uh, and hopefully you'll dig it and you'll like them and... Uh, if you want, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these albums that I'm going to show you, whether you like them or you don't like them. Uh, also, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like the content of this uh, channel. I try to update it um, as often as I can, certainly not as much as I had in the past, but that's only because of work. Uh, but I would still appreciate if you would uh, hit the subscribe button. And lastly, for... Um, those of you in the vinyl community, hey, on Facebook, check out Record Holics Anonymous. It started a group, a record group started by one of our own very own, um, one of our own vinyl community members. Um, and so I think you'll enjoy it. It's just a brand new channel. Uh, we got about 33 members, but hey, if you're on Facebook, check it out. It's called Record Holics Anonymous. Um, and uh, have some fun with that because it's really been pretty good a lot of good people on it so all right so what do we got what don't we have let's start with this great box set this is a capital years frank sinatra this is basically seven albums in a box set um uh, can't go wrong with sinatra uh, and this is and actually uh, it's a really pretty solid as far as box sets are concerned as far as the record quality is concerned um it is really on point the records are quite nice uh they were retained and they were maintained very well by the prior owner uh i was able to buy this from a uh, gentleman who's a fellow record collector here locally by where i live uh he had bought some uh, rather large collections and he has a little bit more of a, he collects more seven inch than, than uh, LPs. And so anyway, he sent me a text and he goes, hey, come on over. I got about 8,000 albums uh, that I'm getting ready to sell at one of my uh, record sales. But take a look, it's two bucks each, have fun, go at it. And so uh, I snagged this, um, you know, and it, it's just really a great record. Uh, so that one is the first one. Uh, Later on, uh, about a month and a half, two months ago, I got a text from uh, a gentleman I know here locally, and he was like, hey, can you come over and give me an idea of what the value is of my record collection? I got about 200 so albums. So I went over and I took a look at it, and I was like, eh, you know, look, if you want to sell them individually, you probably get about $1,000, but you got to sell them individually on eBay and on Discogs and you know, it's going to take you about a year, year and a half. Because if you're looking for a collector to come buy them, you really don't have anything that's outstanding that's going to make anybody's draw drop. Um, so you're at about 200, 150, 200 bucks in and around that area. Um, and so we left it at that. And I said, if you want, I mean, I'll gladly buy them from you. But that's, you kind of know where I'm at price point wise, because there just isn't anything there. It's like, oh man, I need this, you know? And so... Months go by, and he, I get a text the other day, and he's like, hey, I'm ready now. I'm, you know, I'm, my mourning period is over. I've been looking at these things. Uh, he's a little older than me. He's 65, and these are the albums he's had throughout his life, you know. Um, so I went over, and I, and I bought the whole collection. And, and I said, it was a lot of very normal, common stuff. Um, but there were a couple of hidden gems that I didn't actually see the first go-round. Uh, so I gave him a little bit more money afterwards for that money reason. This was one of them. 
Um, this is a Van Morrison blowing your mind. This is on Bang Records. Not a first press, but nonetheless a strong press. A uh, really nice, great record. Um, in, in fantastic condition as far as playability is concerned. Uh, really did a nice job keeping his albums. Um, it has the pseudo hype sticker. Uh, Brown Eyed Girl includes the hip Brown Eyed Girl. Uh, again, this is the second press on uh, Bang Records. Uh, but still, I mean, it's, it's certainly not something in my, that was in my collection. And it's not one of those common things you run across every day. So I was very pumped at this. Uh, I had seen this one, and I'm going to go like this, uh, just so that uh, we hide uh, the naughty bits. Um, as most of you know, this is the Blind Faith uh, first, first pressing. Uh, what I did not know about this particular record, and like I said I'd seen it uh, when I first went over and, and looked at some stuff, and I was like, ah, you know, it's okay. It's a Blind Faith album. It's, you know, I... This actually is a UK press, um, so it's actually a little bit more rare than uh, the US version. It's on Polydor versus Atco, uh, and it really, it plays well. Again, um, he, he kept pretty good condition on his records. Uh, obviously, they needed to be clean because he really doesn't listen to them. They just kind of had them there. Um, but again, um, Gatefold cover, good album. UK press, kind of rare, so I was kind of su both surprised um, and uh, very pleased to have it. So I'll probably keep this one, and if anyone needs it, I have a US pressing that I'll probably sell in uh, place of that. I'm going to put this one, save this one for last, uh, not because it's anything particular, it's just because it's not part of what I purchased here. Then we have some, st again, the standard fair stuff. You know, you have Blondie Parallel Lines, uh, Warren Zevon, Excitable Boy. This is kind of good. This is a, uh, a 1970 uh, Pittman Press, Morrison Hotel, Biggie. Um, pretty good condition. You know, anytime you get a first press of Morrison Hotel, it's kind of cool. It's it's just, you know, I like it. I'm not a huge, huge Doors fan, but, you know, um, I have a couple of those, and so that one will probably wind up on eBay. Uh, also, um, Big Brother and the Holding Company, Cheap, tri cheap Trills. Cheap Thrills. Uh, this is a Columbia 2i. Uh, again, nothing particularly you know, common fair stuff but it's it's pretty cool stuff I mean there is like I said that's the Columbia 2i the Morrison was first press Pittman first press uh, included in that was some uh, Neil Young's Harvest which is you know the classic this is cool because it comes with the lyric poster as well uh, so that was nice uh, and um, this was not part of that purchase, but uh, I'm going to show it because I was listening to it about uh, an hour ago. And I don't know. I mean, everyone, I'm presuming uh, most everyone loves Pink Floyd. Uh, and in particular, this album from Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, is great. So I, had not, I have several copies of this, but... If you really want a great listening copy, a copy, a great copy to listen to, um, this reissue, uh, this was, I believe, 19, uh, 2019, 20, 2017, 2019, um, 180 gram heavy. This thing plays exquisitely well. I mean, I'm, it's not MoFi quality, but. You'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between this and MoFi quality on regular stereo equipment. Um, you know, so save the money, get this one. You can still pick this up uh, pretty much at um, your local Walmart. If you if you go to Walmart, I don't. Um, but uh, your Best Buy, um, Kohl's, Target probably have them. Uh, certainly any of the online distributors, Discogs, etc. It shouldn't set you back more than like 30 bucks, uh, 30, 35 bucks at the outside most. And like I said, you'd be hard pressed unless you're an absolute audiophile and you have 
equipment, which is, you know, you'd be hard pressed to, 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 to distinguish the difference between this and a MoFi on your standard stereo equipment. Um, so that is my recommendation. If you get a chance, go ahead and get yourself a copy of uh, the 180 gram dark side. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Actually, I'm pretty sure you won't be. I'd be willing to wager that you're not going to be disappointed with the record and the money you spent on it. So, so that's kind of it for, for this time around. Uh, two things. Um, Recordholics Anonymous. Recordholic Anonymous. Facebook group. Go ahead, join it. You won't be disappointed. And I want to see your pictures. You know, I'm going to put your picture up and say, hey, Luke said join this group. Here's my first photo. I mean, honest, that's, I want to see that. Um, and secondly, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the videos. Eddie, if you get the chance to watch this, don't just hit like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you need. Let me know what Alex needs. I can get him some, uh, some Bob Marley stuff, but I won't know unless you leave me a comment. All right. Again, have a super 4th of July, everyone. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you stay safe. And I hope the weather's great where you are. So for now, that's it. Cheers.